Welcome to Small Steps. My name is Seth Potts and I want to show you how to use the COUNTIFS function to count the data that falls between two specific numbers. So a lot of times in analysis we're going to be asked to count things, whether it's number of crimes that have occurred, um, number of calls for service at a certain address, um, and you're sifting through a lot of information to get counts. Um, sometimes we do this with pivot tables, sometimes we're just looking for one specific bit of text. Um, a lot of different things we wind up counting. Um, so I talked on a previous video about grouping numbers like this. So uh, this data is for speeds. Um, so just an example of if, if we pulled some speeds off of a speed sign. Now you can group things into buckets um, when it's a equal size groups um, with with another function. But when you get data that you're grouping into different groups that are not equal, um, so not everything's in groups of 10 or 5 or whatever you want, um, you can use a formula here to uh, actually make each group exactly what you want. So um, like I said, I got a couple speeds here um, and then the example I've used and what I've had to use in, in um, different reports to give to command staff to look at the traffic in certain areas. Um, is speed limit. So um, we're looking for different groups here. The speed limit, um, every vehicle going the speed limit and under, and then kind of groups over that of, you know, one to five over, six to 10 over, and then uh, 11 over. So um, you can break this out any way you want. So um, I have two examples here, two ways of doing this. This first way I'll show you is using count if. Um, so speed limit and under when we're looking at that use the count if function and the first argument is going to be the range so uh, we're counting everything in this a range here um, and then the criteria and you have to do this in a specific uh, order here make sure you use quotes around uh, everything here so you're gonna do uh, quotation mark less than or equal to 45 and end quotes. So make sure those quotes stay on the outside of the number there and uh, close um, parentheses there and that gives you a count of everything in this list in this column here that is um, 45 and under. And then we we'll move on here to 1 to 5 over. So when you get a parameter for a top and a bottom number and you are going to type in the specific numbers you want, you use count ifs as opposed to count ifs. So the only difference is this gives you um, options to use more criteria. So not only does it have to uh, fall within the criteria you set for this first part, you can keep adding your range and criteria and it, it'll narrow down and make it more specific the numbers you're grabbing. So for this example, uh, 1 to 5 over, it is counting everything in that column A there that um, the same with the quotation marks you put that on the outside of everything so everything that is greater than 45 so that's the first part of it so we already got everything up to 45 now this next group is going to be everything that's over 45 and then the second part of it is going to be the other end of it so once again the, um, the range is going to be that column a and then this time we want um, everything less than or equal to 50. So yeah, everything over 45 but um, equal to 50 or under. So that's going to get everything we want in that 1 to 5 range over. How's that? Um, we just don't have any here. And same thing for 6 to 10. You just change the criteria there. Um, and you can do this if you have um, I would say if, you, if you're doing this one time, you can you can do it this way and just pick your numbers. Or if you're going to change those up and you you know want different different things, change those uh, criteria how you want. Now, if this is something you're going to pull um, several times or on a regular basis, and you have kind of a report set up like this, and you get raw data in, and you just basically replace the um, the raw data over here, speeds and have times and dates, whatever else. Um, the way I would typically set it up would be to have this uh, box up here that gives you a speed limit. Um, you can put whatever you want in there and that's going to be the number you're going to pull off of to calculate these things. So the example here, um, we're still using count if and count ifs, but it's going to be um, set up a little bit different. So as this one we did, everything that was under uh, 45 and under from that A, um, when we set it up this way, we're going to look, you're going to start off with the same range is going to be that column A. 
and then see where we have the quotes here is going to be a little bit different. So quotation mark, and we're going to do less than or equal to, um, and that's when you close the quotes. So you're going to close the quotes around just that less than or equal to, and when you're referencing a specific cell, a uh, number in a cell, you have to put um, the ampersand here, and then the cell, um, so for here is D1. So um, the big difference being where you put those quotation marks. If you if you don't put the quotation marks and then the ampersand there, it's not going to uh, recognize this as the cell as a number. So um, everything from column A that is less than or equal to the number that is in this field over here. And that gives us, it's a matching number here. And it's the same all the way down for the 1 to 5 over 6 to 10 over. So if you have regular groupings like that um, and you have it set up, I would do uh, this right here. And it's count ifs. So once again, kind of going over again. Column A with the criteria, the quotes on just the outside of the greater than, and then the ampersand and the uh, cell that your speed limit's in, or the number you're going to reference. And just like with the other one, you uh, can add multiple criteria for it. So everything that is uh, over this 45 miles an hour here, and then as well as everything that is less than or equal to um, that speed limit plus five. And you could do that with, with any um, difference you want, any you do plus 10, whatever you want your groups broken down into and enter. So that's going to give these same numbers here. And then, um, like I said, if you're going to do this regularly, you could do it like this. And if it's a different street, different area, you can just change just the speed limit. And when you do that, it updates those numbers as well for the same criteria. So it'll calculate that out for whatever scenario you need. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, click like and subscribe. The next video coming up is going to be using a checkbox to change conditional formatting.